What's a trip to India without a visit to Agra Fort and the Taj Mahal? It is worth recalling that Agra is one of the three cities that is included in the so-called Golden Triangle along with the Delhi and Jaipur. Agra for the longest time has become synonymous with the Taj Mahal. The white marble beauty tops the list of anyone planning their visit to Agra. Today we are on a tour to Agra by one of the tour operators from India. It is a trip by bus. It started at 7.30 and we will be back around midnight in Delhi again. Uh, I was actually surprised of the quality of the bus because once we were buying tickets we had three buses available. The difference of the prices were not much and actually the price for the whole trip is around 900 rupees which is not much but the quality of bus is really really bad you can see this in the back um, it is very disappointing but i hope i will enjoy my trip to agra and agra Port. our bus trip started before 7 a.m at one of the metro stations in delhi which was the meeting point. As we were the only foreigners in the group, we had an honorable place at the front of the bus, right behind the driver. We arrived to Agra around 11.30, so the journey took over four hours from New Delhi to Agra. The first stop on our bus trip was the Agra Fort. This 94-acre structure is situated in the city of Agra along the banks of the Yamuna River about 3 km away from the Taj Mahal. The Agra Fort is one of the best forts in India and is a popular tourist destination in Agra after the Taj Mahal. In 1983, the fort was given the status of UNESCO World Heritage Site. We arrived to Red Fort in Agra. It is already very crowded. It is almost 12 o'clock. We will be having a guided tour. Let's see how it will be. Entry fee is 40 rupees for Indians, 650 rupees for foreigners, and there is free entry for kids below the age of 15 years old. So you have a long, very long list of prohibited items. You cannot drink anything to eat, toys, smoking and all, drones of course, alcohol. All this in Agra Fort is forbidden. There is security, which will check it first. Okay. Hello. 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 
In 1638, when Shah Jahan decided to move from Agra to Delhi, he decided to build the Red Fort in Delhi, taking inspiration from Agra Fort. The fort comprises several palaces, halls, and other monuments built at different points of time in history. The major things to see in Agra Fort include Amar Singh Gate is the southern gate of Agra Fort and the only entrance to the ancient fort at present. The fort has four gates, namely Delhi Gate, Amar Singh Gate, Hati Pol, and Ghazin Gate. Amar Singh Gate has a strange design, supposedly designed to confuse enemies. It has three separate gates. After entering the gate, there is a ramp leading to the courtyard in the fort. Yahangiri Mahal may be the most noteworthy building inside the Agra fort of India. The palace was built by Akbar for his Hindu wives. It is also one of the first buildings to greet your eyes when you enter Agra Fort from Amar Singh Gate. Now this Agra Fort covers an area of about two kilometers, one and a half miles. But here you can be able to visit only 20%. Remaining 80% is still under control of Indian Army, so we are not supposed to go there. Akbar in his period only, he divided this fort into two parts. During those days, Mughal Army is still in the 80%. After the Mughal army, then the British. Huh? Now that place is under control of Indian army, so we are not supposed to go there. So this fort was commissioned to start by Mughal Emperor Akbar, 1565 to 1573. And after the Akbar, three Mughal emperors they started work on this. After the Akbar, Jahangir, Shah Jahan, Aurangzeb, entire fort took 95 years to come. During those days, 30,000 artisans they worked. In those days, the expenditure was 35 lakh gold coin was spent to construct the Sagra Fort, 408 years back. Anguri Bagh, constructed by the Mughal Emperor Shah Jahan, it's one of the key highlights of Agra tourism. The literal meaning of Anguri Bagh is the rich harvest of grapes. During those days, it was fully covered by the woolen curtain in the winter season. In the summer season, it was covered by the cotton curtains. God used to stand over here from our four sides. So without the permission of Emperor Shah Jahan, nobody is allowed to enter inside during those days. Now look at some small, small rooms over here. During those days, in this entire fort, Jahangir is having 350 concubines. Those people used to live over here. And it is very difficult for him to remember the name. So he's given them the serial number. Number one, number three, number three, number four. <coughs> After this, I'm going to show you the place. d one means private meeting hall for the anchor. Okay. So now here we're having a time for the photography. He's a great photographer here. Musaman Burj, also known as the Saman Burj or the Shah Burj, an octagonal building with a clear view of the Taj Mahal. This is place where Aurangzeb imprisoned his father, Shah Jahan, who spent eight years of his life watching his wife's memorial from a distance. This place is called Jasmine Tower. And this is the very spot where Shah Jahan he was kept confined by his own son Aurangzeb in 1658. He died same place only, 
1666. From here onwards, you can see the Taj Mahal. But the Shah Jahan has a wish that till I am alive, Taj Mahal should be visualized with my own eyes only. Looking for the Taj Mahal, he feels that he is looking for his beloved. But after a few later, his eyes have become quite weak. He can't see the Taj Mahal clearly. So he requested his son Aurangzeb that nowadays I can't see the Taj Mahal. Aurangzeb fixed one diamond over there inside the wall. You can see inside the diamond and reflect on the Taj behind the inside the diamond. So it When you see the Taj Mahal, you won't find it from the side. So this big hall is called Diwan Taj. And that was a private meeting hall for the entire Divani Khas, the hall of private audience with the arched doorways made of white marble. The renowned peacock, throne of Shah Jahan, with the famous Kohinoor diamond, used to be kept here before it was shifted to Delhi. <laughs> Common public, they are not supposed to do this. They don't need all families, rajas, nawabs, and yeah. those people. Now, I'm looking at some artist players this side. This is the place where Meena Bazaar was held. Lady Special Market. And during those days when the Bazaar was held here, royal ladies, they are not supposed to go outside. They can buy here only. And this place, they used to get diamonds, jewels, and they supplied. They said, jewelry, and they come in this place. We can admire view of Masuman Burj from northwest with the Yamuna River and the Taj Mahal. And this is our first overall view of the Taj Mahal. Very sunny day, so unfortunately we do not have a clear view of the Taj Mahal. However, it is a breathtaking view. So this is the view from Red Fort to Taj Mahal. This is only distance and about two and a half kilometers, so view is very nice, but there is a lot of fog, so you cannot see much of the Taj Mahal now. Divani Yam, the hall for public audience built by Shah Jahan. The gentleman who was our guide for the whole bus tried to explain some historical facts about Agra in English. However, given his accent, many facts I could not understand or they were not entirely clear to me. Due to the very short time of visiting, I didn't bother asking questions. I just spent my time reading important historical facts about the Red Fort by myself. The squirrels in India do not resemble those we see every day in Poland. Our squirrels are much larger, they are orange in color, while the one in India are tiny, they are more like a large hamster with a tail and they are gray in color. Visiting the Red Fort took place on the run. We only had an hour to visit the entire fort, which is definitely not enough. One hour is definitely too limited as everything happens on the run. This is something that I didn't like very much. That's why, in retrospect, I regretted that we didn't go on a two-day trip to Agra with at least one night to spend, one night in peace visiting the Red Fort and another day to visit the Taj Mahal. One hour of very fast sightseeing in uh, Agra Fort. Now the queue is much longer when we started our sightseeing of uh, Agra Fort there was not such a long queue now there is a long queue to get inside As lunch time was approaching our guide took us to one of the local restaurants For lunch it was possible to order buffet portion although we ordered dishes from the regular menu Then it was time for shopping, as I would call it another scam of India, where they started to sell us marble products and wool products. 
However, despite everything, we made a certain purchase, which, as it turned out, of course, later in New Delhi, we overpaid. We paid for three mini elephants, 2,000 rupees, and then in other touristic places, such as Redford in Delhi, same little elephant costed only 300 rupees per piece. So we finished the shopping and like I expected, this was only about doing business. Um, they were going us to different, different sections, marble section and uh, scarf section with pashmina, uh, wool and silk. And uh, what I didn't like much, they really put a lot of attention to foreigners, they will take us to special room. Uh, they pretend that they're doing this for us to take care of us, but the purpose is just to take more money out of us. Um, so after half an hour, we really got annoyed and <laughs> we just wanted to leave. We bought three little elephants for the price of 2,000 rupees with some small discount. And yeah, now finally I hope we will go to Taj Mahal because this commercial part I hope will be done soon, but not sure yet. We can give for two. Okay? Unfortunately, this was not the end of our wandering around the local shops. Then our tour guide took us to a shop with local sweets, which was another waste of time. I started to get seriously annoyed with this situation because we lost about three hours for lunch and of course of visiting to super attraction which was the mini Taj Mahal made of marble and the local sweet shop. It was a huge waste of time, however, our bus group was not entirely worried about this type of experience. It is worth to mention again that ticket prices for Indians are very low, so for an average earner they are not high cost, which is why people from India can go to the Taj Mahal several times, so they don't have the pressure that this is their only trip where they can admire the beauty of Taj Mahal. It was different in our case. As tourists, we wanted to get as much as possible from visiting Agra, top attractions, Redford and the Taj Mahal. Visiting the Taj Mahal is one of those once-in-a-lifetime travel adventures that's on almost everyone's bucket list. Taj Mahal is undoubtedly a place without visit we should not leave India. Along the way, as in India of course, we can eat local street food and buy souvenirs. Tickets for foreigners are of course in completely different amount as 1,300 rupees, which includes 1,100 rupees entrance fee to the complex and 200 entrance fee to the Taj Mahal itself and the tomb. Unfortunately, due to the limited time we have during the trip to visit the Taj Mahal, we do not decide to choose an additional guide or photographer. With your chicken. Thank See, you. You pay this price, with this price you get a package, you get a shoe cover free. When you go in the main white building, a shoe no allowed. So you have this blue thing you can cover over the shoes, so you don't need to take off your shoes. Secondly, there is a white gold car. When you go back, you can sit in the gold car, go to parking. I hope you see that the big the car bus is blue. parking. Yeah, so parking. it's only one bus parking, I understand. Yeah. So when you go back, there is a bus standing on the hill. So you can sit in the bus and you can go to parking. Which country are you from? Holland. Holland, okay. 
So with this price, when you go in the main white building, there are seven more buildings inside, like a mosque, like a guest house. You can go with this ticket only to pay anything. If somebody asks you, show this ticket. We need right? to show this ticket. Yeah. And so what this, about this jet? This is like a metro system. I hope you have used when you go inside. You have to use once this over here. Once you come back, you have to give this back. This slip is very important. If you misplace this slip, then you have to pay the entire amount of main. So don't misplace this ticket. So within 24 hours, if you go to Agra Fort, another monuments, five more monuments in Agra, don't have to pay any tax. You already paid for that. You only have to give entry fee. So you don't have to pay tax. So you keep this slip very carefully. Secondly, right over here, there is a line to go inside. You have two options over here because the same line when you go in the main white building again there is a line. So if you want to go with the line or you want to go quick. Because if you go with the line, you have to spend half an hour in the line and your token valid for three hours. Half an hour here, half an hour inside. One hour go in line only. So you have only two hours. So if you want, I am the government official person over here. I will take you directly without the line and explain you also. Of course, the kindness of some of them, such as the possibility of using free water or shoe covers, which actually is included in the ticket price for foreigners, is just another way to make business on a foreigner. After the gentleman gave us two bottles of water and plastic shoe cover, of course, he started advertising his services. In my opinion, the security check was quite chaotic. There are separate queues for men and separate for women. Women are also searched in special booths. If we don't have any bag, we only go through scanning, but if we have a bag with us, we have to go to a special booth where we will be checked. Entering Taj Mahal complex is not so easy like I expected. There is a lot of control. They scanning your bags and after they even checking your bags before they return it. Uh, sometimes you will have some nice policemen or security guards which will help you to skip queue a bit but not always. So this is quite disappointing, I didn't expect it to be this way. Uh, let's see now to the main square with this great building. I really hope that this is something which will the uh, building which I can admire because it's known everywhere so I hope at least it's worth it all the hustle mm -hmm. But now let's talk about the Taj Mahal. Taj Mahal is a mausoleum complex in Agra, western Uttar Pradesh state, northern India. The Taj Mahal is also one of the world's most iconic monuments visited by millions of tourists each year. Taj Mahal is really beautiful. Actually, this is one of the places which look the same beautiful like on the photos. It is definitely worth to visit. But unfortunately, the crowd takes a lot of charm from this place. This is like four o'clock, one hour before the sunset. And it's extremely crowded. You cannot enjoy much of this place because there is everywhere crowd. But yes, the building, the white marble is beautiful, worth to see. This is one of the seven new uh, 
uh, World Wonders. So, yes, you should come here. Taj Mahal is distinguished as finest example of Mughal architecture, a blend of Indian, Persian and Islamic styles. Other attractions include three mosque buildings placed symmetrically on either side of the mausoleum, lovely gardens and the museum. One of the most beautiful structural compositions in the world, the Taj Mahal is also one of the world's most iconic monuments visited by millions of tourists each year. From 1983, the complex is also a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The mausoleum made of white marble, built in Agra between 1631 and 1648 by order of the Mughal Emperor Shah Jahan in memory of his favorite wife. There is no actually a dress code for the Taj Mahal, but with everywhere else in India, it's advised to dress respectfully, covering your legs and shoulders. You have to take your shoes off to walk around the Taj Mahal and in the tomb. You can take picture inside the Taj Mahal main building and the tomb. The Taj Mahal is also closed on Fridays, so don't go then. Inside the tomb, there is uh, prohibited to take a photo or record videos. So you can only do this in the square next to the main tomb. Uh, in the main tomb, what I didn't like that there are some men which want to explain you some basic information about the tomb. They will tell you that the tomb of the queen and the king are just replicas. And uh, after one minute conversation, they will demand from you some money, like everywhere here. So either you need to get used to this, or you don't appreciate it much. This is not a um, style which I appreciate, so it annoys me a bit, because if you don't tip the person, he will show you really that he not appreciating this. So it looks like you need to have in India a lot of changes to tip anyone who will talk to you or give you some information. Now it's actually the sunset. Uh, white marble looks beautiful. There is a bit less most people. Everybody wants to take photo with me, which is quite annoying because I don't have much time to take photo with everybody. So, yes, this is it, Taj Mahal, main entrance to the top. Is it possible to see Agra in six hours? The answer is yes. However, you will definitely feel uneasy. Since it served as the Mughal capital during some periods of the empire, it is filled with stunning examples of Mughal architecture, making all the famous places in Agra must visits. Agra is famous for its Mughal architecture and for being home to one of the seven wonders of the world, the Taj Mahal, a monument of incredible elegance and architectural perfection. Top attraction in India definitely is worth to spend at least one night in there.